Blown head gasket. Blown head gasket. All right, guys, it is time to go to the gym and then do homework. It's not very fun, um, but got the keys made. Here's one of the four hammers I have. Dolly. Dolly. I have six more dollies and we're gonna knock out those dents eventually eh, steering wheel in the way here you go wants nothing to do with life in general right now so it's actually not doing it as bad this time as it usually does but both times I've started it before and it's done it's a little funky thing it was like right after charging up the battery I put some serious miles, so I think when it was at the shop, someone just left the lights on or something. This is going to go where the non-functional air conditioning vents are going or are right now. So this will be right there. It will have those two and the AFR gauge. I don't know when I'm gonna get the AFR installed, but it's gonna happen. It will happen. Also, this thing, I gotta get it aligned soon, but it uh, it oversteers when I hit boost and I'm in a turn, uh, which I, I'm not complaining about at all, because it's kind of cool, but still, like, grip, especially the fact that I have 10 inch tires in the back, where, where's my grip, fam? Come on, work. Come on, where's my grip? I got plenty of tread, where's my grip? We're bouncing, guys. This is like flat road. Oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, we're bouncing a bunch. Whatever. Coil over problems. I'll show you guys the main spots where it was leaking because I realized I never showed you guys the engine bay. It's not too bad now. Uh, it's still leaking. You'll see exactly where it's leaking from. And that is like the most brutal part about this entire thing is I can see exactly where it's leaking from, but I don't have the part to fix it yet. Also shout out to No Ding Squad. There's like a couple cars, but Please, good God, no one park next to me because I don't want to deal with this any more than I have to. That is really bad, no. Yeah, that's the spot. All right. Leaks for this. That was loose. That was loose. It's loose. Still is a little bit. Down. That was loose. Below here was loose. I don't know why it's rubbing like that. Uh, that's just water. That's fine. You might be able to see the couplers in there. Well, if those were loose, I love my life right now. This engine bay so bad. What is this? Like, what the heck? I have no idea what that even means. I think it's just reading boost right there. <coughs> Steering wheel. Ding squad. Look where this guy parked. It's not even like, why? Oh, oh no, look what he did to my truck. But you know what doesn't blow? Being able to unlock your own car. Woo! Ah. Ah. Upside down, right side up. 
No, you're upside down. That's not right. Still have to find a nice spot in Mexico to go test out the full uh, capabilities of this car. But it's gonna have to be very open with nothing, like literally nothing. Because Murphy's Law runs strong. Huh. Murphy's Law runs very strong, especially with cars. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong and probably has gone wrong at least once, at least on this car. So, got to figure out how to plug that boost leak. Oh my God, the Civic Si just like mine. Yeah, just like mine. All right, so what's on the list of stuff to do? Paint that roof. I said paint that roof if you couldn't hear me. Fix that boost leak. But that's in conjunction with taking out the air conditioning vents right here, putting in the gauge plate with trace, one, two, three, count them, uh, gauge spots. Going place this and this right here. Uh, it will be boost AFR from the wideband and water temp here. And then honestly, if I go over the top and it's like, I need gauges for everything. Then I can put my, I don't know, oil pressure here and my fuel pressure here. And then just have a rack of just switches that do absolutely nothing. Switches that do nothing are cool. Mighty Car Mods told me. Uh, after that, probably just gonna get a little face plate right here or going to get the shell of a radio uh, like a touchscreen radio and like put it right here that way people think that when they get in the car they'll be able to hear something but they won't also guess what i just found out 240 has a blown head gasket i do not want to put on a head gasket myself i'm going to go with the apexi i or apex tech i not sure I can't remember right now. All I know is it's gonna be like 200 bucks. I might wait a little bit because running low compression won't hurt the engine too much. It just won't be able to run too great, but it's leaking. Um, then after I do the full head gasket change, gonna change out the fluids. It's not the head gasket. Turns out that I just have a very small not even a leak, just a little bit of moisture that made its way onto the ring around the gasket, which was showing, and it's fine. Oh no, it is the head gasket. No, it's not the head gasket. Eesh! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see, like where the channel's going, like where the car is going. Please, help me. Help. Help. Too close. No. No. So yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe.